thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to do a little flip through of my reading journal for 2023. I've done um, the first half of the year in, in a previous video. So in this video, I'm going to show you my spreads for July to uh, December. Starting with my July cover page. Then uh, a seven book series called Necessary Evils by Only James, which I have done uh, a full series of uh, videos about on my YouTube channel that you can go uh, check out if you want to know more about them. It starts with Unhinged. And part two is uh, Psycho. my August cover page with a quote by uh, Faulkner. Book three, Moonstruck. And book four, Headcase. Next is Madman. Bit of an interlude here with a uh, historical fantasy romance. Proper Scoundrels by Ali Therin. Which is followed by Once a Rogue by Ali Therin, about the same characters. My September cover page. Continuing with the Necessary Evil series, Lunatic by Only James. And the last book in that series is Maniac. Next is Malum Discordia by Ashlyn Druick, which is a dark academia retelling of Romeo and Juliet but it's uh, paranormal, they're witches, and uh, it has a happy ending. Great book. Didn't love the narration, though. My October cover page. Classic trilogy by N.R. Walker, the Thomas Elkin series about two uh, architects. Well, one architect and one uh, aspiring architect. Out to Win by Nora Phoenix, about two contestants on a um, reality talent show. Everything I Didn't Know by Nikki James, which is about a dangerous cult in the Canadian forests. Book one in the Dead series, series by Vaughn Cassidy about a pathologist who, after a little head injury, begins seeing ghosts, and he is uh, he makes friends with uh, Miss Dusty Le Fay, which is a drag queen uh, who was murdered. My Halloween read was uh, Woods of the Raven, and there's also a video uh, on my YouTube channel where I am setting up this page that you can go watch. My November cover page, uh, I was feeling quite low at this point, so I wanted to do something more uh, light. And get away from all the darkness. The Storm Boys trilogy, a new trilogy by N.R. Walker that came out this year about two storm chasers in uh, Kakadu in Australia. Falling Down, um, one of my standard autumn reads by Eli Easton. I have, also have a video about the, the setup of this.
The Spectral Files by S. E. Harmon is uh, another paranormal uh, series of books uh, about a cold case detective who uh, sees ghosts. Fourth Wing, the only non-MM book I, uh, in this entire book, actually, uh, I wanted to see what the hype was about, and uh, it was okay. I didn't hate it. Followed by one of my favorite books this year, End of the Line by Nikki James, which uh, there's a full... A video with a book review when I'm setting this up if you want to hear me gush more about this book. Finally my December cover page with a little quote from the Green Creek series by TJ Klune. My Christmas read this year was 10 Things That Never Happened, a new book by Alexis Hall. Very funny, well-written, witty. A Taste of Golden Iron, um, a fantasy about a prince and his bodyguard. Followed by some contemporary smut. Enemies with Benefits by Anna Walker. The last spread I did this year is The Last Thing He Needs, a bit of an MM classic, uh, lovely book about a 22-year-old Tommy who is taking on raising his seven younger brothers and sisters because his dad and his stepmom are troubled with alcohol and drugs and can't even take care of themselves. And he gets a friend and a lover in the local rocky cop bobby also a lovely book about family this is a spread i did to keep track of what competitions i entered in in the goodreads uh, mm romans group anniversary competition uh, where i marked down what the competitions i entered if i won or lost them and what prizes i requested very useful for me because as you can see I entered quite a lot of competitions. Lastly is Oz by Lily Morton which I actually did back in June but it ended up in <laughs> in the back of the journal. Lovely book about the, the renovation of a uh, old house in Cornwall. This is my new in 2023 page. Uh, I feel sometimes that I only re-listen to my favorite books. I never read anything new. So uh, I did a spread where I just tracked the new books I read and I made it to at least 75 brand new books that I read for the first time this year, which is more than I honestly thought. A little page where I track the audio releases I was looking forward to this year. Very useful. My DNF graveyard. Not gonna say too much about uh, the books because I don't. Uh, I respect the authors. I just uh, they just weren't for me. And we've come to the end. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, following my uh, journaling progress this year. Uh, I look forward a lot to setting up my 2024 journal and uh, I hope I will get to share some of that with you, with you as well. Thanks for watching everyone and happy reading!